Hello everybody, my name is Black Hood, and <coughs> as you guys can tell that um, I haven't been uploading uh, videos lately, and this is the latest video that I am going to upload. Now, keep in mind that this build here is an actual challenge. I don't make it into a tutorial because that usually during challenges you don't, but this is a preview of what I got so far. Has anyone heard of SCP? Okay, if you have heard of it, please put your comment down below, yes or no, or whatever. So, if you have, uh, this is my preview of what my SCP building is. The challenge that was given to me on Mother's Day <coughs> of 2017, which was about less than a week ago and um so far i've been really hard working and built it now i have built other versions of it um but i figured that this one is my best one here so um anyways let's get started with the scp <coughs> excuse me um so here we are we have a button to start us off in and um there we go and guys as you can tell here that this is probably the most securest it was kind of the challenge was also to make it the most securest so I kind of made it uh, secure alrighty now I don't know why that lever is there is because that it goes to nothing but anyways guys here we go we have a drop box and it's going to have our levers in it now over here is pull this lever whenever there's a containment breach. And here we are. It's containment breach, so no one can exit. And this is the only exit in this whole entire build, so no one can escape. Anyways, here we are. We have a conference room. Now I probably spelled that wrong. Conference. I tried to sound it out. Um, if I did spell it wrong, please let me know in the comments below. So here we are. I didn't really do much of anything. I gave it at least a table of a fancy looking one. And a weird looking one of that. Of this. Now I could change it if I wanted to, but I figured not to because I kind of like that version. It's kind of shaped into like a little monster or something. Here we are. We have the guard armory. Now, um... I would have put that in as an iron door, which I will, um, soon, so, anyways, here we are, uh, this is some of the things, I might, uh, change the guard's armor to, um, steel, um, because not only that it looks great, um, but I do want some of the contestants to wear leather armor, um, and I might change the swords. Everything might be changed to iron here soon. So yeah, that's that. Um, oh yeah, you're wondering why we probably have an apple here. That's supposed to represent an um, health pack there. So yeah, and the stick is supposed to represent as a baton. So there you guys go. Um, so in order to keep that schedule going. Alrighty, so here we go. Um, we're entering the offices now. Um, Dr. Ken Quinn is not part of the game, and I don't think Dr. Kenway is. Any doctors are basically scientists. So here we are. We have Dr. Kenway's office. All the offices look the same, technically. <clears throat> um, which, Dr. Quinn is basically my brother, so I figured to put him in, and he does not know about that, so guys, we kind of need to keep it hush-hush. Um, but all the other ones are, like, Dr. Mainyard, um, Dr. Gears, and all the offices, basically, they don't have the bookshelves overhead. I decided to make the top researchers only have those. <clears throat> uh, and we have that. 
and we have Dr. Harp, Dr. Condrells, I guess, and Dr. Rogers. Um, I looked them all up online, and in, I didn't put in a deceased one, so yeah, that's great. And here we are, we had a cafe, and um, this is basically all the food uh, that will be served, but uh, not only that, guys, it will be changed, like, almost every day, so, um, yeah, I'm still uh, trying to build a... Uh, I wanna see what I can do. If there's any more room that I could insert, um, I'm thinking about putting like a door right here or something to a bay where I could actually build everything else. Uh, so then the food can keep coming in semis and everything is there. Which I might do a tutorial on that. So, and then here's my Dr. Hood's office. So, you all know my name's Black Hood. So, yeah, I made mine looking like the nicest office. Besides, I'm the builder and I am also the creator. So, yeah. Now, you're probably wondering why I put this up there. Is because that, well, I wanted the, like, words to fly out of the bookshelves. Because I couldn't get that uh, here. So, I, uh, so I do that, and I realized that I it was made out of obsidian, as you guys can see there. So then I realized that I cannot put it on a piston, which um, some of these, some of the doors will be secured, some of them will not be. Like the armory, I know I better secure that. Um, so yeah. All right. So over here is the stairs. Now this area is not yet complete. I'm still building uh, something and. Um, here we are, we're going to have the rules and guidelines. When and if you are asleep, keep one eye open. <laughs> that is true if you decide to go to sleep in the SCP. Um, but yeah, anyways guys, I decided to make it looking like this. But as we get further on down, we'll uh, head down there. Now guys, my brother decides to make a vault. Like a, uh, kind of like fallout vault where if, uh, there was a containment breach, it would be, uh, like, you know, everyone could go in there. I built a secret passageway for that. So, anyways, it looks very nice in here. Lots of room. Um, and it could at least hold three people. Um, or four. Four people. So, if you want to grab your kids and stuff. Oh, yeah. And this could be shut as well on that side. So, um, it took me a while to get everything down. I was hoping that I wouldn't keep the lever there, but I had to, um, because there was no other way. <clears throat> so as we go down here, it's going to be kind of a maze down here. I still need to add the signs to which ways where, but as we go down here, it's not yet done. As you guys can see, I still need to put some stone bricks in here. Now down here, guys, I am building a maze, so it's, they do not have that in the SCP containment breach, but now they will. Um, <laughs> so as you guys can see here, I have added some nice light textures of that, and yeah. So if you guys want to, you guys can like walk right in through. And then here we are is with the testing lab. He's like, I'll see you back right after the short commercial break. And he's showing all the Easter eggs from the rest of the world. And he's like, I'll see you after the short commercial break. And then he's like, every death, scary and death, every scare, jump scare and death scene from the rest of the world. And that is my friend Ethan, guys. Um, <laughs> And as you guys can see here, if there was a containment breach, someone would have to pull these levers, but they would also have to sacrifice themselves. It's because uh, since there is uh, pistons on each and every single one of those, they there's no way, basically. So one of them might have to sacrifice. Um, so yeah, I'll just keep those closed just for display. And I'm still working on the testing lab. Still have to get down there, guys. Um, this place is almost complete. Um, and the deadline would be in two months, but you know, after like a week, I'll like forget about it and just never build back to it again. So here's the cells, testing cells. So what I would do is like block these off and then I would, uh, try to have them chase me <laughs> down the hallway and into the maze or the testing lab. So, 
I made sure of that. So, um, yeah. Alrighty, so hopefully this could be the thumbnail uh, for this. Um, I'm hoping and praying. Um, so yeah, guys, that's technically the SCP containment breach build that I am building. Um, so guys, there will be more secret doors and nice pistons and everything else um, because I want to make sure that my brother doesn't even know about it, so I kind of just let you off with a secret. But the best part is, is that he don't know my channel name, so there you guys go. So, as I, you're probably wondering why I had a diamond sword. It's because I figured just to scare the audience um, with you guys, so yeah. So, I'm going to put in a iron door before I forget about it, and there we go. Now, there will probably be, like, a uh, key card slot up there. Because only guards can have a key card slot, which will be accessed here. And all the levers will be actually changed to um, key cards. So uh, I'll have to rename them with an anvil. So everyone will at least have a level 6 badge. But me, I get a level 10. So it's kind of nice. Um, Which I am still working on putting a wall in. Uh, the maze will actually have the walls, guys. Um, I know that this looks nothing like the game, but this is kind of my way. If there was an SCP build, oh yeah, I gotta put that back off. So yeah, guys. So yeah, this is kind of the build, and I'll give you a circle place around there. So yeah, this is technically top build of what I built, guys. And there's all the offices. <laughs> yeah, there's my brother's office, so yeah. And then we have the conference room here. Um, yeah, so hopefully you guys did enjoy that. Uh, you're probably wondering how come there's no light coming out is because of these slaps here. So just in case if graphics were wrong, I'm just going to tell you guys that. And probably right here or somewhere I might um, build a bay. So anyways, hope you guys did enjoy and thank you for watching.